Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial is on how to remove your drum in your washing machine prior to changing the bearings. This is a series of videos and you'll find the rest on our website apartforyou.co.uk. They're all free and there to help you. This video was done on a hot point washing machine but can be used to help you out on Indeset, Creda, Ariston and a few other makes. We hope you find it useful. Dave will be taking you through a step-by-step -step procedure on removing the drum. Please remember to disconnect the appliance from the electricity supply and all work should be done by a qualified person. Lower the outlet hose into a bowl. This will empty most of the water if there's any left in the drum. When no more water comes out, replace the hose in the standpipe. Undo the screws in the inspection panel and remove it. Tilt the machine forward and rest it on a wall or unit which is strong enough to support its weight. Now slide a bowl under the sump to catch whatever water's left in it when you take it off. Loosen the Jubilee clip holding it to the container and it will come free. Tip it into the bowl to empty any water inside. Look at the motor plug. It can be refitted wrongly because there's a vacant section in the socket that would allow you to fit the plug in the wrong position. I've refitted the container back to front to make it easier for filming. You would have to work within the confines of the cabinet. If you ease the belt towards yourself while turning the pulley anti-clockwise, the belt will come off easily. But be careful you don't catch your fingers between it and either of the pulleys. Use a 13mm socket or spanner and loosen the two bolts holding the motor on by about 6 or 7 turns. But don't remove them. Then, with the handle of a hammer, tap it in. This will free the motor from the seating and make it easy to remove once the bolts have been fully undone. Grip the motor with both hands, because it's heavier than it looks, and push it away from its locating point on the container. Cut the cable tie holding the wires and remove the spade connectors from the heater. Don't worry about which wires go where on the heater because it really doesn't matter. As long as the green and yellow goes on the earth terminal, there are two types of thermistor plug. One just pulls out. The other, like this, is held in by this little tab. Now stand the machine upright and remove the top and the front. Washing machine lids are normally held on by screws at the back, although some models have screws on the side. These are usually at the front. The lids vary in how they come off. Some lift at the back and push off, while others have to be lifted from the front and pushed back to release them. Soap drawers also differ in how they come out. This hot point drawer pulls out so far, then by pressing the green tab, the drawer can be slid all the way out. Although with some makes and models, you just need to give them a hard tug to free them. Undo the screws in the drawer recess. The console panel on this model also has fixing screws on top and plastic tags inside which need to be lifted before it will come free. Unhook the module connecting plug. There is only one on this model, but there are a number of different ones on other models this video covers. So if you have a camera, take a photo, or at least make a note of where each connector fits. You'll need it for refitting. Around the door sill is a retaining band. These also vary from one model to another. This one has a spring attached and comes out very easily. Unhook the seal from the front panel and fold it inside the tub, out of the way. Remove the screws holding the door lock in place. Hold the back of it so it doesn't fall inside the cabinet and so you can get extra purchase on the screws when you undo them.
This lip hooks into the hole and the screws hold it in place. Pull the kick strip off and remove the two screws on the lower section of panel. Remove the remaining two screws on the top section of the panel. It won't fall because it's hooked onto the cabinet chassis by four nylon latches. Unhook the panel and lift it off. Using a 13mm socket or spanner, undo the front balance weight bolts and remove it. Now remove the top weight. You can leave these shims in place if you want, as long as they're on tight and you don't lose them. They prevent the weight from rubbing on the container and wearing it away should it become loose. Undo the clip holding the dispenser inlet hose on the container. It may be a nylon clip such as this one, or it could be a Jubilee clip, then pull it off. You can now fold the dispenser over the back of the machine, out of the way. You'll need to unclip the pressure hose from the container. There's two clips, one at the top here and one just underneath it. The stabiliser legs are connected to the container by two pegs and they're held in place by a tab on the end which prevents it from coming back out once inserted. To remove the peg, screw one of the bolts used to hold the balance weight on into the end. Then fit a 13mm ring spanner over the end with the tab. As you can see here it closes the tab into the peg which will allow it to be withdrawn from the front. Use a pair of pliers to grip the end of the bolt and pull the peg right out. Do the same to the other side. Because there are no weights or motor attached to the container, there shouldn't be much stress on them, but they may still need a bit of pulling before they come free. An alternative way of removing the pegs is to use an iron rod and knock them through. Don't use a chisel because that would damage the ends of the pegs and leave you with even more problems. Use a flat bladed screwdriver to lever out the plug on top of the spring. Then do the same to the other side. The springs are both the same, but one hooks into the container facing one way and the other faces the opposite direction. Worth noting for when you refit them. At this point the container weighs very little so it's relatively light to lift out. Turn the container on its front and you're ready for the next stage. We hope you found this video useful. The next in the series is how to split the tub and change the drum bearings. You'll find this video available at our website free of charge. 
and remember to shop at Apart for You as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thanks very much for watching.